In the Bible, we find one of the most beautiful appeal from God. It says, Today, if you hear His voice, harden not your heart. Would you like to spend this day with God? Listen to this devotional. This Day with God, a devotional by Ellen G. White. Peace in His Presence. I will remember the works of the Lord. Surely I will remember thy wonders of old. I will meditate also on all thy work and talk of thy doings. Psalm 77 verses 11 and 12. Great things are before us, and we want to call the people from their indifference to get ready for that day. We are not now to cast away our confidence, but to have firm assurance, firmer than ever before. Hitherto hath the Lord helped us, and he will help us to the end. We will look to the monumental pillars, reminders of what the Lord hath done for us, to comfort and to save us from the hand of the destroyer. We want to have fresh in our memory every tear the Lord has wiped from our eyes, every pain he has soothed, every anxiety removed, every fear dispelled, every want supplied, every mercy bestowed, and strengthen ourselves for all that is before us through the reminder of our pilgrimage. We can but look onward to new perplexities in the coming conflict, but we may well look on what is past as well as what is to come, and say, Hitherto hath the Lord helped us. 1 Samuel 7 verse 12 As thy days, so shall thy strength be. The trial will not exceed the strength which shall be given us to bear it. Then let us take up our work just where we find it, without one word of repining, imagining nothing can come, but that strength will come proportionate to the trial. Our children are in the hands of God. Our faith must awaken to grasp the promises, and we not repine, we not be mournful, for then we dishonor God. We must encourage a cheerful, hopeful frame of mind. Our present peace must not be disturbed by anticipated trials, for God will never leave nor forsake one soul who trusts in Him. God is better unto us than our fears. If we would encourage a diligent remembrance and recital of our mercies, counting up instances in which God has wrought for us, has been better to us than our fears, in which He has interposed His power and His grace, when sorely perplexed, sustained us when falling, comforted us when sorrowing, we would see that it is unbelief to distrust God or be filled with anxiety. Let mercies be remembered and enjoyed daily. We must live by faith daily. Rejoice in God always. Today praise God for His grace and continue to praise Him every day.